precious Lord, we thank you for this glorious liberty in you. Yes, Lord. Yes. That's because your spirit is here, yes. and we thank you. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for this holy people that are gathered unto you. Thank you Lord, we thank you, O oh, blessed Captain. If you're here, the host is here. Yes. Yes. We bid you welcome. We thank yes. you. We ask you to abide with us. Yes. Dear Lord, we thank you now for the spirit of truth, Christ Jesus. No one knows the spirit of a man save the spirit. Spirit that's in him, knows a man save the spirit that's in him. We thank you for your precious spirit yes, because we will see you, Lord Jesus, and we need the spirit of truth that you are to teach us and to speak yes. things concerning you as Father wills, dear Lord. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, that our Father, Heavenly Father, has been so wondrously revealed through Christ Jesus, our Lord, and may we, the body of Christ, dear Lord, Reflect the same glory that he is in this earth. In his holy name we give thanks. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Well, we're continuing in Acts chapter 27. Amen. And the way we got here is because we're in a, in a long-term teaching, show the house to the house. We're showing Christ Jesus to the house that we are. And in so doing, we've gone chapter by chapter Amen. in the book of Ezekiel. And the Lord has shown us wondrous things. And we came to the judgment of Tyrus, or Tyre. And we found, the last time we looked at it, Tyrus was compared to a ship. And we saw how all the nations of the earth and what they speak to, they brought things into Tyrus, just poured in things to Tyrus. Pretty much what we see today. Things mm -hmm. are very best that should be given unto the Lord is going to all types of of things except for kingdom purpose. And we know that this there's a um, we see this spiritual picture of this ship and there's a new covenant counterpart to it that actually actually shows us some steps for the process of salvation if we can hear it. Mm -hmm. It's right in lace mm -hmm. in the in the word. See just like the scriptures teach us the preaching of the cross is the power of God to salvation. Any minister can just get up and preach the gospel, and without doing anything externally, salvation is coming to the hearers. Amen. You hear that? Amen. Cause, Amen. Cause why? The power is enlaced Amen. in the gospel. Amen. You can't Praise do it. God, God put that in there. Praise so the in these Amen. scriptures then, mm -hmm. it's embodied. It's like it's encrypted, but when the Holy Spirit moves upon it, it, it decodes it for us. Mm -hmm. And Amen. you can actually see what Jesus Christ did for us and as us and begin to just leap up off the pages mm -hmm. yes. because it's so real, mm -hmm. glory Amen. to God. Amen. But it's a blessing to be able to look at old covenant examples and learn from old covenant examples. We don't have to make those mistakes. We see Amen. what happens mm -hmm. when people don't let the spirit of the word <clears throat> that was read this morning. Um, uh, thank you so much, Mother. People wanted to stay in a, in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Well, God's going to, in the fullness of time, God sent his son. Yes. And you had a people, every, everyone Amen. looked to Abraham. Father, Father Abraham, if it wasn't. But then, see, a, there came one who Abraham longed to see his day. Mm -hmm. And when he arrived, <laughs> because of his spiritual essence, He's rejected. Like Bishop Paul said earlier, everybody's expecting a, a warrior. Yes. We're, we're under Roman control, and we know that we're the people of God, and somebody needs to rise up and do something about this. And here comes this one, meek and lowly. Mm -hmm. But he's got all power in heaven Amen. and in earth. Yes. Hallelujah. So we thank God for the power of the word of God. Mm -hmm. these, these are just verses read. And that can either do one or two things. It can kill you or it can cause life. Mm -hmm. Amen. The very scriptures I'm reading, uh, someone controlling, not filled with the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. can take these very scriptures and have the people of God scared to death. Mm -hmm. And then somebody who is filled with the Spirit of God will allow the Spirit of the Word to come forth. Yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And then a people will live. Amen. So that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the judgment of Tyrus. There's an old covenant story. But in new covenant, we can apply spiritual, a spiritual picture and see just what this ship. It, just like God said over in Ezekiel 27, 34. And you have a handout today. So hopefully it will help you a little bit. It, 
In Ezekiel 27, 34, it says, In the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas in the depths of the waters, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall. We, we know that if God said that, that's already done. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. already true. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So then we see if it was something in the natural, we see what the power of the cross mm -hmm. has done on our behalf. Mm -hmm. So it's no sense in trying to resurrect something and Amen. live it out Amen. if you Amen. see it's already come to an end. Right. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. So what we in, in Acts chapter 27 when in midweek lesson, we got up to chapter 14. I'm going to do just a little bit of review. And for those of you that missed that, we have the other handout for you um, <clears throat> that we can give you after, the, after this meeting and the CD if you want. But we looked at the time of their voyage. At the time of the voyage in Acts chapter 27, we're looking at this picture of the ship and what it is speaking to. The voyage took place after the fast. The Holy Spirit took the time to ensure that was in written for our learning. Because the after the fast, that means the afflicting of the soul, and you look back in Old Covenant, you can see when that happened. Well, that happened in conjunction with the Day of Atonement. Well, you, what we need to understand up front, people need to know up front that you've been reconciled to God. You can submit to that. You can submit to all that the cross exacted for us. Or what you can do is try to do this on your own. And I'm telling you, you're headed for shipwreck. That's right. That's right. That, because what? This, this vessel is not meant to undertake what you need to experience in spirit. Y'all hear that? This won't work in spirit. So then, we saw the time of their voyage. So then, it says... If there was a, a, a an expression within um, Acts 27, and it says hurt, there will be hurt. The warning was there's going to be hurt and damage to the load, to the ship, and to lives. Mm -hmm. God was so good to point out to us. That's why you, you have to, to study your word. Yes. See, see? Mm -hmm. we, we have to study your word. Because the word lives here means the soul. It's not violence. Mm -hmm. You see that? You see that? Amen. We need to understand that. The word lives used there, the hurt that was coming to life, it, it wasn't. God doesn't want to hurt you. Right. He wants to. Right. Look, the target is that which binds us. Right. Amen. Right. See that? Yeah. That's the target. So then, in Acts 27, if you're there, we'll pick it up in, in verse 14. It says, <clears throat> they take off sailing despite the warning. And it says in verse uh, 14, not long after, there arose against it a tempestuous wind called Eurachalodon. Now, which means a violent agitation. Mm -hmm. Not long after what? See, this, what man will do in verse 13, look back up at verse, there, verse 13. Because they go sailing... And things start to go wrong. Then they come to a place that says, and when the south wind <clears throat> blew softly, mm -hmm. supposing that they had obtained their purpose, loosing thence, they sailed close by Crete. Mm -hmm. We saw Crete means flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. See, when the south wind blew, here's the whole problem. And Jesus mm -hmm. spoke to this whole problem in Luke chapter 12. You know what? He was saying, paraphrasing, you can discern the face of the sky, but you, you can't discern the times. Amen. See that all those people that knew all the law, but here's the master in the Amen. midst of them, and they can't discern the time. Amen. This is what I'm telling you. There are those of us in the earth, like the scriptures say, look, Issachar had the sons of Issachar, of all the tribes in the old covenant, 12 tribes, Issachar's sons knew the signs of the time. And what it was Israel ought to do. God will never leave or forsake his people. His, the spirit of Christ is here. And those that will listen to the spirit of Christ, 
know the signs of the time and what it is that spiritual Israel ought to do. That includes everybody that Jesus went to the cross for. And he told Father he didn't lose one. That's not a distinct, that's not distinguishing nations today. Because God he went, he went for the sin of the world. Y'all hear God? All right. So then. We thank God as, as, as we're seeing this. They knew the signs of the time. They didn't, I mean, they knew the, they could discern the face of the sky, the Lord said. He said, Jesus said over in, in Luke 12, he said, you know, when there's when a south wind blows, you say it's going to be hot. And you know you're right. Mm -hmm. So they think because a south wind blew, well, we got this. Mm -hmm. God, get ready to show you something. Yeah. In spiritual things, you do not know except the Spirit leads you. Amen. I'll be the first Praise one to tell you. I'll be the first one to tell you. Glory to God. Amen. We don't know these things apart from the Spirit's help. Amen. So then, back over in, in um, Acts chapter 27, we see then. They think, they're thinking now, they have obtained their purpose, so then they go, oh, it's a, it's a south wind, so <laughs> the weather's going to be nice. It says in verse 14, not long after, mm -hmm. there arose against it a tempestuous wind called Eurachlodon. And then I also told you, told you last time we came together about first, uh, uh, verse 13, ministers stop stepping out ahead of God. People stop stepping out of head, ahead of God because of something you want to do. Because you see somebody else do it doesn't mean that it's supposed, you're Amen. supposed to do it. Amen. You need to be led by the Spirit of God. Because what people will do well is they'll go, say, for example, start something. And then they'll say, well, oh, Lord, this must be God. And then you get to, get to sailing for a little while, not long after, you, you'll see. You see what I'm saying? So we, we, we need to hear this word in so many ways. In verse 15 it says, and when the ship was caught, when the ship was caught, that's very, very important. Because that word caught means seized by force. You see that? Amen. It's mm -hmm. caught in this violent agitation. Mm -hmm. What's happening in the violent agitation? Storm and wind fulfilling God's word, mm -hmm. just like the psalmist right. said. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah the prophet said, but the wicked are, to, are like the troubled sea. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see that? Amen. You see when the sea, you see it's trouble. What's that word trouble means in, in, in Hebrew means to drive out or cast out. Mm -hmm. See that? You can't, we can't bring the garbage of Adam the Adamic nature yeah. over into spiritual things. Yes, yeah. there's a violent agitation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. And see, what people are concerned with, they're not looking at the end product. They, they get hung up on the violent agitation. Yes, yes if it can't be shaken, Hebrews told you that. It's going to shake. It's going to keep on shaking until all that remains is that which cannot be shaken. So you know that up front because the word said that. So don't act surprised and thank God for that. So the forward movement can go on into maturity as sons of the Lord Jesus Christ. This driving out. You see that same principle all the way back over in Genesis. What happened when the man fell? You can't stay up and eating like you didn't do anything. You can't stay up in the paradise of God and, 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 and you've been consorting. With, with the adversary. Yes. Yes, you can't stay you can't stay up in there naked and out of the bed there. You gotta be clothed with glory. That's why we put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Amen. see when you put on the Lord Jesus Christ, you can navigate spirit. Now God is not looking at you. He's seeing his son. Amen. Say that? You couldn't stay in you couldn't stay in Eden naked. Amen. All your covering gone. All your glory gone. Amen. You see that? So what did God do? It says in Genesis 3, 24, he drove him out. That's the purpose of the violent agitation. It's driving out all that nature that is not like the Lord Jesus Christ. And we said, what did he put there? What did he, what is God? There's something guarding to make sure that when you come back this way, when you come back this way, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna have your true identity. You know why? Because cherubims. Yes. Are guarding the way yes. to the tree of life. That's right. Cherubims, who are they? They are beings that are in union with the redemptive work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. That's why Moses went to a mountain. God showed him and, and uh, the pattern of heavenly things, and he comes back and God puts his spirit in certain ones, and they make these things. And when they make the lid of that mercy seat, the ark 
of the covenant, that, that very lid itself, mercy seek means propitiation. And you've got these big, they're not just resting up on top of it. That's something you sit on top of something. They're actually made into the lid itself. So when you come back this way, you're going to see that you're in union with your ability to enter back into Eden for the presence and favor of God where the tree of life is. Somebody please hear the Lord. Glory to God. So then, we also look at this other driving out, what this, this agitation, what it is doing. Remember we went, uh, just for a brief review continuing, we went over to Exodus 23 and read a few verses there. And we saw how God sent the hornet to drive out the enemy that was in the land, yes, in, in the old covenant. And he told them that uh, he, he wouldn't drive them all out all at once. Because you got to increase. You're not big enough to cover this land so vast. There's not enough of you right now. But by little and little, as you increase, then you'll fill out the land. Somebody please right. hear God. Because right. people are walking yeah. this right up front. Right. This is why we're in church this morning. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Because we're learning and we're growing right. thereby. Right. The spiritual things that we're learning. Bless his holy name. Right. So then, he sent the hornet. And that just blessed my heart. I just... It, it just kind of hit me mid-stride teaching because when you look at the root meaning of the word hornet, it means leprosy. Mm -hmm. See, leprosy is, a, is an old covenant type, a scriptural type of sin. Mm -hmm. You see that? See, this is what makes me appreciate my Lord so much. And I'm telling you right now, ministers, you don't have time to preach anything else. So get off those tangents and things that's bringing attention to yourself and preach Christ and Him crucified and what that Lord. means to us. Because Lord. even the hornet speaks to Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He knew no sin but became sin for us. Amen. I'm going to send something through the land. It's, it's got to it's gotta identify with what's yes. in it to drive it out. Amen. The more we learn of the Lord Jesus Christ, these same enemies that are camped out in us. That's when they are driven Thank out. God. The God. agitation God. comes. God. What is this irritating me? Why did I get mad? And all I did was just read yes. a verse of scripture because it started to create yes. something and there's some flesh still mm -hmm. there. Yes. And it has to be right. shaken up and then it has to be driven out until yes. all Lord. that remains Praise is that it cannot Praise be shaken. Thank you. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then we saw the last verse we did in, the, in our review about this wind. We see that it's compared to, to the, it, the this new covenant tells us in John 3 and 8 says the wind blows where it listed. You can't tell, you, you know, hear the sound there, but you can't tell where it came from. Right. This same wind, you can't tell where it came from, you can't tell where it's going. But you know what it's like? It's like everyone that is born of the Spirit. Right. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. See, that's what the wind is doing. So, as we look at this, let's look at Acts 27 through those eyes, through the eyes of redemption. Let's look at everything yes, <laughs> yes. through the eyes of redemption. Yes, right. So then in verse 15 of Acts 20, 27, um, Acts chapter 27, mm -hmm. verse 15, it says, but, I'm sorry, and when the ship was caught, again, we said, what about that word caught? means to seize by force. Mm -hmm. When it was, and when the ship was caught and could not bear up into the wind, we let her drive. Let, let me say it like this. You got a verse on your handout from, it's from Matthew eleven twelve. 12. It says, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. See the masters there then. You see that? Amen. When Christ Jesus is in, this, it's not going. It's not. You can't expect to have him and go on as usual. Amen. 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 The ship's got to break That's up. Right. Right. That's right. Cause what you 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 got to come out of out of that vessel mm -hmm. into the liberty of the spirit. Mm -hmm. right. You see that? Yeah. Hallelujah. So then, so when the ship was caught or seized by force, in other words, it can't handle the power of the spirit. Amen. So what we do? We let it drive. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what, there came a, a, a point when I quit whining. That's right. 
didn't do any good. Amen. Kept my blood pressure up and all that kind of stuff. You got to quit. You come to a place Amen. where you quit Amen. resisting this. You're the one that's God to come live in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. You can't Amen. carry that. Amen. Carry that stuff. Amen. Amen. So then, when the agitation, when it, when it when it starts, mm -hmm. you just got to let it dry. Amen. Just Amen. like Paul was told, you can't kiss kick against the prince. Right. Mm -hmm. That's like kicking your heel against a sharp yeah. instrument. How, what, uh, how would you be able to walk? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How, what Amen. could you do? Right. Can you imagine what kind of pain? The least of pain in my heel is like, oh, that throws everything off. <laughs> how can you how can you kick against the prince? You see this right here? So so when you you just what? You let her with the letter drive is saying. Verse 16 says, and running under a certain island, which is called, <clears throat> which is called Claw Day, which happens to mean lame, it says we, we had much work to come by the boat. Which when they had taken up, they used helps, undergirding the ship, and fearing lest they should fall into the quicksands, straight sail, and so were driven. Now, I, I know I give you a lot, but it's by the Spirit just doing what he's saying. Look at the things along the way that they are afraid of. Quicksand. Quicksand, by virtue of what it does, it means to draw. See what's happening here? Jesus said, well, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw men unto me. So what Adam is afraid of is the power of Christ. Right. You see, can, you, can you relate to that? The very thing that Adam is afraid of relates to the very power of Christ. Because once you get a revelation of what these steps mean, crucified, died, buried, quickened, raised, and seated, when you get a revelation of that, Adam doesn't stand That's a good. chance That's right. in your heart, in That's your life. Right. Yes. See Amen. that? And, and, the, and when you try to resist what, what God is going to do, because see, when you receive Christ, you receive a measure of spirit automatically. Amen. I'm telling you some things Amen. built in you. Yes. It is. You don't have to work up. You have a measure of the spirit. Sure mm -hmm. So the you're going to try to resist that? No. Do some things and know it's inside of the will of God. Amen. The Spirit right. convicts and still will just right. want to do it anyway. What do you expect God to do? Amen. Well, you're just going to do it anyway. Amen. What you praying for? What you asking for? Mm -hmm. You got it, huh? But the, when the moment you set your, the moment you're on course, on divine course, you, you can't, there's no room for this because you won't be able to withstand it. Amen. You won't be able to stand up to the power of the Spirit. Okay? Yes. Verse, verse um, 18 says, and we being exceedingly tossed. You see this? Exceedingly mm -hmm. tossed with a tempest. Exceedingly tossed. This is where God means business with us. Mm -hmm. Exceedingly tossed. Why? Because Isaiah's already said, the wicked is the trouble sea. See, when, it, when it's agitated like that, what's coming out? Dirt and mire. Yeah. All that Adamic nature is coming out. Mm -hmm. So it says the next day, what they do? They lighten the ship. Mm -hmm. What do they do? Look now. The very thing that's happening to them, they begin to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear God? Because mm -hmm. if you lighten a ship, what you doing? You casting yes, stuff over. It ain't like you getting down yeah. one foot somewhere. You are yeah. casting yeah. it out of that boat. You yeah. see that? Yeah. So they, they, their neck, what's happening to them is becoming their nature, but they can't see it yet. They right. think they're doing it for survival. Right. I, Bishop Paul, I know these, yeah. I know these times so. So well, I know it. I know it so well. When you just, when you just have to, to yield. Like I was telling you about forgiveness mm -hmm. and how hurtful things can be done unto you. But when you come to that place, well, Lord, it, it's your your will. You must have a purpose for telling me Amen. to forgive. Amen. So I, when you come to the point, well, I I just don't want it in my heart. Amen. I don't want it Amen. in my heart. Because every time you bring it back up, in case you didn't know. Your brain doesn't know that it happened 10 years ago. Amen. Your brain doesn't happen right now. So the same toxicity is just turning over and over and over in your being. So, so thank God for the wisdom of God. God has got ways of healing us in deeds. And he, when he tells us to do something, that's what he means for us to do. Glory to God. So then, they lighten it. The next day, they lighten it. And the third day, listen, you know something that happened powerful on the third day. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and the third day, 
We cast out, look now, with our own hands. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. y'all notice the reading up there? Mm -hmm. Up in verse 17. They try to hold something together. They, they used helps. Mm -hmm. But after a while, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. It's not like, God do this for me. It's just, use your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. You cast Amen. it out. Amen. He said, I delivered them in your hand. You cast them out. Right. Amen. 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 You do Amen. The third day we cast out with our own hands the tackling of the ship. That's all the ship's instruments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The very thing that's, that's, that's operating, all that's got to go. Mm -hmm. That I, I want to do that with my own hand. That, that's got to go. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the nature. The, mm -hmm. a, it represents a change of nature. So he said, when, when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared. This is, this, is, this is awesome here. You know what you don't have? Listen, family. Listen very carefully. Let me slow down just a little bit. When sun nor stars appear for many days, there comes a time when we're going to have to trust God. What, do, what would the sun do? It would give you light. But what kind of light is it? It's natural light. Y'all hear God? There's going to come a point in this world where all your, he is the light of the world. You see that? The full dependence is going to be upon God. Hear that? So then, look what happens. When neither sun See, notice this after the third day. Mm -hmm. When neither sun nor stars and many days appear, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. Mm -hmm. Don't try to hold on to this life. Right. Mm -hmm. You try to hold on to the scripture, say you lose it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See that? Don't try to hold on to that endemic nature. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful day to realize that that's not you. Amen. That's not who I am. Amen. You need a teaching priest to stand up and tell you that we're spirit first. Amen. We have a soul. The mind, will, and emotions are not running things. We're spirit first. Amen. And we live in a body. And, and a typically all that order is reversed in Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam wants to, the body to be yes. taken care of. Mm -hmm. You gotta got demands on how you're supposed to look in a body. If you don't look okay like that, <laughs> you get outcast. <laughs> See all this stuff? Just not making any sense. People just being written off because they don't look like Adam said they should look. Yes. Mm -hmm. Told you that before. Mm -hmm. See that? Verse 20, verse 21. But after long abstinence, what's this abstinence? Going this fasting. Mm -hmm. Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, you should, you should, not, you should have hearkened rather unto me and not have loosed from Crete and to have gained this harm and loss. Now, why would Paul say this? What is this? This is a great lesson that can be taken the wrong way if you're not careful. You know why? If you want this vessel to hold up, you got to stay where flesh is. You see that? If you expect it to go on in the Lord Jesus Christ, you move away from what flesh speaks to. Don't expect this to not be not tear up on you. Mm -hmm. What the Adamic mm -hmm. nature and this protection speaks to. And do you understand that? Because that's very important. I don't want to want anybody confused right here. Is that making sense to you? Amen. You should have I'm telling you, if you didn't want this kind of harm to come, you should have stayed in the creed. I said like this mm -hmm. then. If you didn't, if you didn't expect to walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. You should have just stayed yeah. on out of the yeah. world. Yeah. 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 That's scripture. Yeah. Yeah. You see, this is this, this is what this is telling yeah. us as a people of the spirit. Don't God, you you don't want to know God, you shouldn't ask him. Because yeah. if you ask him That's and you right. mean it, he's going to respond to you. Yeah. And he's responding to you by his yeah. essence. God is spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's yeah. spirit. Yeah. See that? Yeah. So yeah. he's going to respond to you like that. Yeah. Yeah. So then... So if you shouldn't, if you didn't want this to happen, you should stay at, at, at Crete. Right. Like, this is a great lesson for me. This is a great lesson for me. You got to get up out of what Crete speaks to right. and let this thing go ahead and break on up. Because what? There's power in the breaking. Go back and ask somebody like Gideon. So what happened when the lambs get broken? 
Amen. All you gotta do, how the enemy get routed? Right. 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 Just break a lamp. Right. Isn't that something? This is what you're gonna take in the war. Take your lamp mm -hmm. and put a light in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then when I tell you to just break the just break the light, break the vessel. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. You mean we don't have to fire missiles over there? We don't have to have spins and no, no, no just just break the light. Right. Somebody please hear God. Somebody's gonna hear this one of these days. I'm telling you, glory to God. Just break the vessel. And the light will come through. Yep. Verse 22, he says, And now I exhort you to be of good cheer. Notice now, when it was dark, there wasn't any natural light. Nobody's taking natural substance. Somebody please hear God. We just get, hear the power of these two verses. Hear, hear this. Remember, there was no light from the sun and the stars. Now Paul is talking about Paul after a long abstinence. You didn't depend on natural sustenance. Mm -hmm. People don't think they had church unless you have something you relate to and you have all these big props and stuff up there and all this kind of stuff. So, something so people, you don't need to relate to that. No nope. worries, right. right. though. You need to relate to spirit. Yeah. 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 And the only way you can relate to spirit is the spirit of truth has to come through a vessel and minister unto you. Amen. And you have to hear about the spirit that is within you right. in order to yeah. be able to discern Amen. it. Glory to God. So, he says, I exhort you to be of good cheer. This sound, see what happens? He sounded just like the Lord. Yes, Remember they were on the, on the, out on the water and another storm came another time? Jesus came walking across the water. Scared him after that. <laughs> he's, he's what Jesus said, be of good cheer. Exactly. So listen to Paul's language. I exhort you, what? To be of good cheer. Yes. For there shall be no loss of any, listen now, any man's life. The word life here is by us. See that? God don't want to kill you. <laughs> See that? That's that nature. That Adamic nature. It says, no loss of any man's life. Listen what it says. But of the ship. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All I can say is thank you, Jesus. That wooden vessel. That wooden vessel. Amen. Come on, Prophet, help me. Yeah. The wooden vessel has got to go. Yes, Lord. We see that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Verse verse twenty three says, "Let me let me um let me let me um show you something about this word loss. Look at your hand out for a minute. See verse twenty two on there where it says about this. Paul says it won't be lost. This is used one other time in New Covenant. What this this Greek word used here? It's it's used in Romans eleven fifteen. Now listen to what it says." For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? This lost and casting away. Amen. That's the, what Amen. it's saying. Right. Amen. 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 Hear that? Amen. Everything now is dealing with this casting away. Amen. Thank God. So, up there where it said being dead, mm -hmm. listen what 1 Peter 2 and 24 reads. He says, who in his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, thank you Bishop Paul said mm -hmm. earlier, that we being dead to sins <coughs> should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. Mm -hmm. This loss is not to life. See that? Right. Mm -hmm. You're already dead in, in sin. This is, you don't, you, that's the life you don't want. You don't amen, want that amen, amen, amen. That You don't right. want that life. Amen. See that? You shouldn't want it. You should, you should not yes, want it. So then in verse 23 it says, For there stood by me this night, in, I'm sorry, the angel or messenger of God, whose I am and whom I serve. Mm -hmm. Well, in spite of everything that's going on, all these circumstances, you don't hear Paul losing his identity. And see how God sent help in the situation? Amen. A messenger of God, not somebody from off the bridge, a messenger from God. Y'all hear this? <clears throat> he said, whose I am and whom I serve. You see, this, listen, family, look up here just a minute. Circumstances don't change you. Nope. I don't care what we go through. That doesn't stop you from being... God's servant. Amen. And it definitely doesn't stop you from being God's. Nope. Still what, what that'll do, you'll turn it. 
you, you'll start feeling sorry for whatever's antagonizing you, and you know what you'll say about that person? If they only knew yes, right. the Christ yes, that is in me. Mm -hmm. And then, do you think they'll know the Christ that is in you if you turn around and respond in kind to Amen. what was not like him? Amen. I don't think so. Nope. I don't think so. Nope. And that's where, you want somebody to be real honest with you? That's where a lot of my violent agitation took place. Lord, help you if I knew I was right. Praise God. Amen. Thank God for deliverance. You can't do this by yourself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You cannot do this by yourself. This, come, this is built in yes. to understanding who we are. Amen. Crucified with Christ. Praise yes. God. But now, when, before you read it today, this morning, you had the gospel preached to, to us before we even got into praise. Isn't that something? Yes. A lot of people yes. don't even know Amen. one of these verses, let alone all Amen. six of yes. the steps. Yes. You hear that? Yes. Glory to God. We're moving right along. Don't want to hold you down. It says, verse 24, saying, Fear not, Paul. Thou must be brought before Caesar. What did the messenger say? That must be brought before Caesar, and lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Mm -hmm. So people gonna learn this. You know what? The scriptures say of Christ that God gave him the, the heathen and the uttermost the parts of the world. Of the world. Mm -hmm. Hear that? Heathen mm -hmm. and uttermost part of the world. Mm -hmm. When we do what he says, the same blessing comes on us. Amen. 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 You hear that? Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about losing anybody. I remember from, I look at look back at the years this ministry and, and different ones that came through. You know, I'm telling you why I'm not worried. I told you about this, this vision I had. I saw trees burning and rain. I mean, just rain pouring down and flash flooding. But you know what? It couldn't put the light out. I ain't lose nobody. Why? Why did I say it that way? Because Christ is something Christ. I said what Christ said. You see, I said what the Spirit of God said. I don't care where they are in the earth. Many, some, some we hear from them sometimes, sometimes we don't. I don't care where they are in the earth. They will not forget That's right. who they are Amen. in God. Amen. And that God ordained them to be his Amen. servant. Amen. You see that? Amen. Praise God. That's, that's just how this works. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise so then, in, in um, verse, verse 20, <coughs> verse 25 um, says, Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer. Say it again. Why? But I believe God. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. When God tells you something, it's just somebody to believe it. Praise God. That's all you need. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, all you need is to believe God. It says that it shall be even as it was told me. Do y'all believe what, what these scriptures say? Yes. That is, that is yes. even as he told us? Yes, Lord. You believe that? Yes, yes. yes Lord. So if he told you something like, by his stripes you are healed, you believe it? Yes, yes. Lord. Indeed. It's already Praise done. God. He's saying. If he tells you you're the head, not the tail, do you believe? Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yep. Thank you. All the promises of God are what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Verse 26, how then we must be cast upon a certain hour. Listen, when you see this word certain in New Covenant, it's kind of like I told you that word astonished. Hold on to it and watch you see Christ Jesus somewhere. When you see certain, it's not ordinary, family. Mm -hmm. Certain That's is right. not ordinary right. in, mm -hmm. in New Covenant. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. It says, but when, but when the uh, 14th night was come and we were driven up and down in Adria, about midnight the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country or land. Well, how, what, what point in the journey did you recognize this? When we were driven up and down in a place called Adria, which means without wood. You just said it, Prophet Biden. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just, he, he just said it. Because mm -hmm. you know what wood speaks to in, in scripture? It's a symbol of humanity. It speaks to humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> driven up, driven up and down in 
in, in Adrian. So what? You're without humanity. Mm -hmm. You're at a place now mm -hmm. where you just got to depend on God Amen. and nobody Amen. else. Amen. Hear that? Amen. That's right. That's what Adrian means. Without good, without humanity. It says, about midnight, well, what time is midnight? One day's passing, mm -hmm. a new day is coming in. Mm -hmm. See, when you get to where you stop depending on me, it used to be where, I, I need somebody to pray with me. I need somebody to, when you get, when you get to where you know that, that God and, and you can communicate, you see that? <laughs> Some things start to happen, don't they? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. At midnight, this new day. See, when you realize that you're at the point where the old right. is passing, that old of them, that's passing. Mm -hmm. You're into some new country. Now, you, this word country here is land. Some of your translations may say that if you use a different version that I'm reading from, that word country is land. Mm -hmm. I promise land man is the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Lord. Yep. Don't ever forget that. Yes. Hallelujah. Verse, um, <clears throat> verse 28, <laughs> I also have a little note on your handout, and don't forget it. Um, I, I asked you to, to just consider Luke 19 and 12. It says that when Jesus was teaching about a nobleman going into a far country, he went to a far country, what? To receive a kingdom. Mm -hmm. There's somebody that waiting on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Yep. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. verse, verse, um, verse 28. It says, and so, let's, let's see, verse 27, and read the rest of it. It says, but when the 14th night was come, we were driven up and down the Andrew about midnight, the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country. So what did they do? They sounded and found it 20 fathoms. And when they had gone a little further, they sounded again and found it 15 fathoms. Then they stopped. Anybody did your man? <laughs> What's the difference in where they first first sounded and where they stopped? It's fine. Mm -hmm. From here on, don't try to do it yourself. It's grace. Amen. Amen. You can't say what we did. Nobody will be able to say, you know what? This ship rocked. This ship rolled. But we brought her in. <laughs> and, and she's still seaworthy. You'll never ride on this one again. Amen. All right? Amen. Nobody be able to say that. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So my point for saying that is stop trying to dress Adam up. He's done. Amen. He doesn't fit in spiritual things. I'm talking Amen. about that first Adam. The first Adam, that, that fallen nature doesn't fit in these things. The earthy man. The earthy man. That's right, Bishop Paul. Amen. So then, first 20 fathoms, then, then 15. Mm -hmm. So difference of fine. Thank God for great grace. Fine. Grace and truth came by. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I told you that like, like encrypted in here. You may say, well, you sure are pulling that something. Well, you have to take that up with the Holy Ghost because I'm just telling you what he opened up to show Amen. 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 So verse 29 says, then fearing lest we should have fallen upon some rocks. Here's another fear. What, what is, is, is this, this fear? Rocks. You know what? The, sometimes when I in study, like I keep telling you because it just passes understanding. The, the thing they're fearing, again, is power. Mm -hmm. Because this word rocks, if you go through and study New Covenant, you'll find, especially in the epistles of Paul, you'll find one-time use of words. Or you'll find them used some other place just one other time. But the word rocks here means place. It's a place that's already marked out with boundaries. Somebody please hear God. Mm -hmm. See what they're scared of? What they the... They're, 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 they're afraid that there might be rocks. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have any fears once you come to a point of grace. Amen. Right. All right? Amen. There's, there's nothing to fear in front of grace. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So then, this, this place then, that's the whole thing. What, did, what, what is the whole promise about? Is to bring you into a land. Amen. Mm -hmm. To bring Amen. us into a land. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Verse... Um, Verse, verse, thir verse 29, the rest of that verse says, They cast four anchors of the stern and wished for the day. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let <coughs> down the boat in the sea under the color, as though they would have cast anchors out of the foreship. You have always somebody trying to circumvent redemption. 
There's no shortcut to this. You either come by the blood of Jesus Christ or you have no way to come. You see that? You always got somebody that want to go back to Egypt. Remember that? Well, let us go back to Egypt. And my question has always been, you came across that Red Sea a supernatural way. Amen. How do you plan on getting back? Amen. You see that? Right. How, what, yes. what kind of way do you, how do you plan to get back? Right. Thank you, Father. Right. I'm right. cracking up on because it does not make it sense no, to me. Right. How do you plan on getting back? Yes. So then, so they're under the color, they're going to take the, take the, um, the boat, the mm -hmm. light boat, and, and try to act like they're letting down okay. anchors. Yeah. After you already been told, nobody's going to lose their life. Amen. You already know that up Amen. front. Mm -hmm. See that? But somebody always wants to do it another way. Don't believe. Won't believe. Won't believe. But you, Paul, you need to mic up so that. <laughs> Verse 31 says, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship. Listen to this. Amen. He cannot be saved. Mm -hmm. I wish ministers everywhere could hear this. Where are you going? And you're going to leave your flock somewhere. Mm -hmm. Instead of tell people, you're going to hell. No, where, where are you going mm -hmm. and going to leave them? Mm -hmm. And Jesus already made a way through his flesh. Yes. Where, where are you going? Mm -hmm. You see, it says, verse 32 says, Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat and let them fall. There you go. You, look, you, don't, you can't make your own escape. Right. Abide, in, abide in the vessel. Abide in the vessel. That's right. And while the day was coming on, we're going to speed up a little bit here now. Verse, um, verse uh, 30, 33 says, And while the day was coming on, Paul besought them all to take meat. Listen now. Take meat, saying, This is the 14th day that you have tarried and continued fasting, having taken nothing. Wherefore I pray, listen very carefully, Wherefore I pray you to take some meat, for well, this is for your health. You hear that? Yes, Got a little note, little note there for you because the word health there is one and the same as salvation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Jesus said, look, I got meat you don't know mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. Somebody hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, while, while everybody running scared, mm -hmm. Paul was talking to the messenger of God. Mm -hmm. So now he knows what to do. He's, he, he knows exactly what everybody needs to do. Amen. Even though he's a what? A prisoner in the boat. Amen. You see how this works? That, that, what, that, what, is, isn't that what we're prisoners? We we're prisoners of the Lord Jesus. Ain't glad of it. Amen. See that? Verse, verse um, 30, 34, uh, verse 34 uh, again. Another uh, point I wanted to bring out to you. Because in, um, in the rest of that verse says, For there shall not an hair fall from the head of any of you. And Jesus said that himself mm -hmm. when he was teaching in Matthew's gospel. Mm -hmm. he, how he told them, what? All, if God, God sees the sparrow. Mm -hmm. You think he doesn't care about you? Right. Yes. And then he goes on to tell them, all the hairs of your head are numbered. Mm -hmm. You see this? You see how, yes. look, it's Paul is talking, but it's the Christ Amen. Amen. coming through him. Y'all hear that difference yes. right there? Amen. Amen. If he was just saying something off his head, they wouldn't be able to hear that. But he, Paul is actually preaching Christ to them. See that? So then, what Christ has already said, verse 35, And when he had thus spoken, he took bread, uh-oh. He took bread and gave thanks to God in presence of them all. What's that? That's Amen. That's the body of Christ. Amen. That's what you, that's what you need. Yes, Lord. At this point, the nourishment you need for salvation is the body of Christ. Yes. You see that? Mm -hmm. This is a this is a spiritual example for us. Praise God that we have this body yes, broken Lord. in our midst every time we come together. Amen. Amen. You see that? Amen. Because this is what for salvation. Yes. You see, this is there's a there's a bread for your health, mm -hmm. and then it goes on to say. And when he had broken it, he began to eat. Mm -hmm. Then we're all, see this, uh, this make you want to, am I reading the story of on the road to Emmaus 
uh, am I reading from Acts 27? Y'all hear God? Yes. Because what when they ate this bread that was broken, that's a symbol of his body, the body of Christ, it says they were all of good cheer. Amen. They were all of good cheer. Remember, he told them earlier to be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. Be of good cheer, and then there's a demonstration coming that's going to show you why you are of good cheer, mm -hmm. that you're going to experience. See, you go from hearing the word to the word actually being yes, a Lord. part of us. Right. We start living this word. That's what we're living off of. Y'all hear this? Amen. Elders, do y'all hear this? Amen. Because you're going to need to tell somebody this. Amen. Everybody, hear what we eat, what we're eating, uh, we're becoming it. Yeah, right. Just right. like food is assimilated in your body, you got the muscles and stuff and looking all good and stuff because you're eating the right thing. This is what's happening here. Amen. His Amen. body is being broken and spiritually we're learning things about him we never dreamed. Praise and Christ. as we see him, so are we in this present world. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Almost there, family. You're so you're wonderful Amen. and I appreciate you. We're about life. done with this, but you see Thank this you example so you know when Jesus said, now is the judgment of this world, you know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. So then, verse 36 says, then were all good cheer, and they also took, look, some meat. Mm -hmm. You see there's a difference put between the bread for your salvation and the meat for your nourishment. Amen. You got to hear that. Mm -hmm. See that? Thank you, Lord. I know we're here. We're here. Yes, in verse, 30, um, verse 37, it says, And we were all, in all, in the ship, 203 score and 16 souls. 276, the old language there. Mm -hmm. it's just, and, and when they had eaten enough, they lightened the ship and cast out the wheat into the sea. Look. Look up here, please. I'm looking at everybody. I'm looking at it as a minister, some kind of way. Look, when you've eaten enough, you look where they, they cast wheat into the sea. How do we start this out? The wicked has the trouble sea. Can't rest. It's kicking up dirt and mire. What did Elisha do when somebody had poison in the pot? Remember? Put meal. He put meal. Where did that come from? Wheat. He put it in the pot. They cast. This, this didn't bring you just the same. Some more people got their need. You hear that? Amen. Some, some, some more people need out of somebody. What person stuck? It says in verse 38, <laughs> verse 39 says, and when it was day, look, this new day in Christ, they didn't know the land, but you know something about it? They didn't know the land, but they discovered a certain creek with a shore. The word creek here, everywhere else you find in the New Covenant, you know what's translated? Bosom. Amen. Bosom. Hear that? Remember the rich man, Lazarus? Yep. Where's Lazarus? Praise God. I see him. There's a great gulf mm -hmm. between us. I see him. He's over there. Mm -hmm. He's in Abraham's bosom. Mm -hmm. You see this? Mm -hmm. Now that they're over this, they're in a place that they see, they, they don't know the land. Mm -hmm. But the first thing they do see, as I see a creek, is the bosom. Y'all hear God? We're at such a safe place. Bishop Paul is, is um, I don't know, fire, like coming up in me. Y'all hear the Lord? Amen. Jesus. It was a shore into the which they were minded, if it were possible, to thrust in the ship. And when they had taken up the anchors, they committed themselves unto the ship. Oh, oh really? Okay. <laughs> and uh, themselves into the sea. Mm -hmm. And loosed the rudder bands and hoist up the main sail to the wind mm -hmm. and made toward shore. Mm -hmm. And falling in a place where the two seas met, they ran the ship aground 
And the fore part, listen carefully now, the fore part stuck fast and remained unmovable. Y'all hear God? Remained unmovable, but the hinder part was broken with the violence of the way. Who is the, the fore part that speaks to Christ? That's who he is. The head. See, that's why when when they when on the when he was raised again, and they go and look in the tomb. Well, the napkin that was on his head is folded all nice, some place by itself. Mm -hmm. The other clothes. Y'all hear this? Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. It's too much treasure, Bishop Paul, for people to be playing around. I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. It's too much treasure in here. He's, he's as clear as day in this word. He's as clear as yes, day. There's no sense in people acting like they don't have anything to preach because mm -hmm. he's yeah, in these yeah, words. Right. He's Lord. living in these yeah. words. And this is life and healing yeah. into our yeah. flesh. Yeah. Yeah. The scriptures yeah. teach us greater the peace of our of our children. Great is the peace of our children. Why? Because they are taught of the Lord. Right. That's yes. why we have great peace. Mm -hmm. The more and more you see him, mm -hmm. things that you see around you don't have the effect that they would do. I never said so many preachers scared cats in my life. Mm -hmm. what, what are you afraid of? You got You better do this. And you don't have the answer in yourself. The answer is in Christ. Amen. And he's put that yes. before us in his word. A few more verses we're always done. You're almost done. You all have been just, just very great. But I want you to know some things about the Lord. And there's nothing wrong with that four part because he's speaking. The four part is speaking to him. Just like Colossians 1.17 says, he is before all things and by him all things consist. Mm -hmm. And whether we realize it or not, like Hebrews 12, 28, mm -hmm. thank you, Sister Claudia. Minister Claudia read it earlier. She says in Hebrews 12 and 28, wherefore we receive in a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God at, wow, acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Amen. See that? Amen. Where did the reverence come from? When you look back over what the way you came Amen. and know you couldn't right. do it. Right. Praise, 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 Praise the Lord. Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. yes, it was such a beautiful thing this morning when she when she said she was going to read from Hebrews. This, this scripture just jumped all right out because it, it was already in my spirit. Praise Amen. the Lord. From, 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 from the study. Verse 42 says, And when the soldier's counsel was to kill the prisoners, what did God say? Right. And you don't come Amen. over the same way everybody else. Amen. That's what I'm trying to get people to hear. God's not mad at you, but he ain't liking what you're saying too much. If you're Amen. not telling people the truth. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Why you want to, who, who, what, who, who's a prisoner when you get right here? You see what I'm saying? Amen. Unless they're like a bond servant. Nail my ear to the door because I want everybody to know I belong to you. Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. See, like that? Mm -hmm. and not one life is to be lost. Mm -hmm. And now you get you get here. See what I'm saying? Like people have written people on. Well, they're not in our group, so yes, they are. Yeah. You there, they're there. Mm -hmm. They may not have the record quite straight like you do, but they're there. Y'all hear God? Amen. Jesus said, I didn't lose one, save the son of perdition. You gonna make him out of line? Amen. No, no, you cannot. So you see there are people here that have come the same way, many that realize where they have come, they just don't know it yet. Right. So what are they doing? They're still acting just like we all did, <coughs> acting just like we did when Amen. <laughs> what well, speaks to flesh, we're still That's acting right. like we, we're right. still in creep. But really you've been brought to a new land, a certain place, a certain country. See that right there? So then, verse 42 says, the soldier's council wants to kill the prisoners lest any of them should swim out and escape. But the centurion, willing to save Paul, see this right here? Amen. <laughs> willing to save Paul, kept them from their purpose and commanded that they which could swim should cast themselves to the sea first and do what? Get to the land. Mm -hmm. How I got over that's how you got over mm -hmm. in Christ. Amen. 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 <laughs> See that? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go on and, and swim. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If 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 you can't, it says if you can't swim, the rest on boards 
and some on broken pieces of the ship. And so it came to pass that they escaped all oh, saved really? to land. Oh, Quit all the people in bondage. You know yes. we're different than they are if you're in Christ. Right. Amen. People just got to learn. Amen. That's right. See that? Amen. See what love will do? Mm -hmm. This is love that, this is the kind of love that passes understanding. Amen. You mean some prisoners came over with us? That's right. Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. That's right. Yes. yes. They were saved too. Some real life crooks right. came the same Amen. way you did. Amen. And I'm so glad That's about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. See, you got to know who the son says free is free indeed. That's right, man. Hallelujah. That's right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, this, this, this part that's broken up, you got to, I, I can't close without saying this because some did swim and said some went on pieces. And if there's a piece, it's a part of that broken up. It's not that part that cannot be moved. But look what 1 Corinthians eleven twenty four says. It says, and when he had given thanks, he break and said, take ye what, this is my body, which is broken for you. See that? Amen. Do, how, what you going to do? Do this in remembrance of me. A little brother one time minister we up in, in Arkansas. He just blessed my heart so much I never forgot it. Brother Tracy. He said, when you remember something, you it's not so much they but you putting it back together. He's the member, my members and the arms over here, so you put it back together and it's remembered. Yes. I thought that was so precious. Wasn't that wonderful? Yes. Glory to God. First Corinthians 9 and 13 goes on to read. Do ye not know that they which minister about holy things, listen now, live of the things of the temple? Eat. Live is eat. Is the word eat here. Read it again. Do ye not know that they which minister about holy things eat of the things of the temple? Who's the temple? Praise God. Christ is. Yes. So we're living and we're eating of who he is. Yes. Yes. It says, and they which wait at the altar are partakers of the altar. People don't realize the power of feeding on redemption. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that. You know how I know they don't? Because they're preaching other stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I know they don't know the Amen. power of feeding on redemption. Because if you did, you'd, we'd live in the power of his resurrection. Amen. So they don't know. Amen. I know that they don't. Amen. Read, 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 that, read that second half again. It says, and they which wait at the altar mm -hmm. are partakers. With. With the altar. With the altar. With the altar. Mm -hmm. So listen, the ministration that's coming from the altar, that's what you're taking out. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. People take these kind of scriptures and, and, and please God, folks, like mm -hmm. you're supposed to do all this. It's, it's supposed to be for everybody. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You hear that? Yep. Mm -hmm. So here's your last verse, I promise. Because I need you need to see where the safe land was. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Acts chapter 28, one verse. Verse 1, and when they were escaped, then they knew. Y'all hear God? Yes. First, you don't know where you are. Mm -hmm. but once you escaped, mm -hmm. oh, I tell you, Amen. Amen. I feel like doing a holy dance by mm -hmm. now. Amen. Mm -hmm. When they were escaped, they, listen, then they knew that the island was called Melita. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Melita means honey. honey. That's how this all started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Better go, I got scripture on right your hand out for you. Mm -hmm. Leviticus 20, 24. He said, but God said, but I said, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it. What kind of land is it, God? Land. A land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God. But you separated you from other people. Yes. I think that's a wonderful note. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Lord. May the Lord bless you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. May the Lord keep you. Yes. May you be in perfect peace. Oh, and the remedy for that is keeping our minds stayed on Him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen.